when I was just trying to do my research, I realized that polygamy actually is not just about a man to a woman. Mm -hmm. is, is, is something that encompasses, you know, just multiple partners within the kind of argument that people would have. But then today we're focusing on that very one of, you know, where a man sort of is married to more than one woman. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we've decided to talk about this, Fatma, is because of the declaration that was made the other day by NHIF mm -hmm. in regards to, you know, sort of the rules that are new that were introduced. Mm -hmm. And at some point in time, we picked one that was talking about the fact that a man is only allowed to register one wife. And okay. the very same uh, sort of uh, setup is confusing or contradicting to what was signed into law in 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, that is when uh, the 2014 polygamy legalization came on board in March 2014, where Kenya's parliament passed a bill allowing men to marry multiple wives. And the act also defines marriage as the voluntary union of a man and a woman, whether it's on monogamous or polygamous union registered under that particular act. And President Uhuru Kenyatta suddenly signed that into law. But then when you see sort of sectors that are in a way connected to the government are dependent on what the government decides so that they are able to proceed and uh, sort of uh, implement the policies that they set up, taking such angles or taking such direction, then we would be asking ourselves, do we sort of have some level of double speak? We agree that yes, the president has in a way said that let's halt this for a moment first and consult and uh, sort of just get to know whether it's the right move to take. Most of the legislatures equally were not in, uh, in, 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 in agreement with that declaration. And they sort of said when it hits that level of parliament then, or the com committees would sort of dispute that. But as it is, you know, it's probably bound to come back on board. And maybe the reason why the NHIF decided to do that, of course, they could be justifying the reasons as to why they're doing that. But yes, technically, before we even get into that aspect, uh, what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of polygamy, one, on a general outlook, and now, you know, sort of for us as a country. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Linda. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. And um, thank you for even quoting about the NHIF bill and the assentment of the same. Right. But uh, this issue of polygamy has brought in a lot of, a lot of anarchy in the family. Okay. Because as you see, from the God's creation, maybe we can ask ourselves, where did this polygamy come from? Mm -hmm. Because before we talk about NHIF, yes. there's always something where it started from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll agree with me. You've mentioned legislators, legislators, you've mentioned about system. And if anything, the system is not put in place, mm -hmm. it will always come back and bring a lot of anarchy. Mm -hmm. Number one, if you look at polygamy, so many people ask, why is it there are so many polygamy? Is the issue of polygamy repeating itself? Mm -hmm. It's not that it is on the rise right now. Polygamy was there from Even the before, onset, yes. the way you've mentioned mm -hmm. it, from the man's creation, from the onset of mankind. Mm -hmm. And if you can check from both ways, you check from the culture, you check from the religious aspect, even right. in Christianism, mm -hmm. it's there in the Bible. So many verses quote, even Moses, Abraham, all of them had so many right. wives. Mm -hmm. So before we talk about NHIF, the issue is to first and foremost, yes. to allow that polygamy is there. Well, and polygamy, sh that. yeah, polygamy shall always be there. Right. So once we understand that, then it will give us way on how to handle on the on the same issue, mm -hmm. on the same matter. All right. So if we first and foremost agree, because it, it has a lot of debate, yeah. a lot of debate, so many anarchy we're seeing right now, even the setup of a family, mm -hmm. the setup of a society, it's becoming because of not accepting and allowing this in our society. Yeah, society. And yet, it was there from the onset of human mm -hmm. mankind. Mm -hmm. So at this point, then, we are for polygamy. We are in for polygamy. We are yeah, in we for are in for And even if yeah. we not, yeah, mm -hmm. the reality is like, right, you, right, right, like you put it, you know, it is there and it is here to stay. And there's probably nothing we can do about it. Common day, you know, polygamy, in a way, probably, like you rightfully ask, mm -hmm. uh, one would want to know how did it crop up. But then, uh, you know, times when, of course, you'd find that a, wo a man has a wife, but they will always want to go out and everything. So at some point in time, then we see the essence of them just bringing one wife or two or three or four and saying that, you know what, let me come out open in regards to to this instead of doing some of these things in hiding. So when we take a look at the modern set of polygamy and the fact that yes, we, we have it and it's here to stay, uh, how then does it come in to affect or to strengthen the family setup? You see, the purpose of polygamy or the way the man was created, 
uh, the, the polygamy had its own part, mm -hmm. had its own help. But you see, it, 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 at a certain time, it was waved out yeah. or it was faced out with this modernization and this preaching of uh, mainly in the Christianity, mm -hmm. one man, one mm -hmm. woman mm -hmm. set up. Yeah. And uh, when this thing came on board, mm -hmm. what it did, it destabilized the man, the man who was created mm -hmm. for many women. Right. You get it? Mm -hmm. And uh, once this man gets destabilized, mm -hmm. that's the time you see they started hiding. Right. They did it in secret. And you can attest to it that uh, <laughs> even right now, mm -hmm. every man who passes on with one woman, every woman bef before crying over the death, you there's ask yourself, mm -hmm. oh, there's always that looking out, who's yeah, coming, who's coming, uh, who's coming now? Yeah, yeah, and you know, automatically they are there. Right. You know, they even you have the same children with your same names. Mm -hmm. If my first name is, my child is Ken or Fatma or Amina, you know another Amina is somewhere. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. Or you know there's another Virginia or yeah. somewhere, somewhere. So you see, so everybody knows that this thing is there to happen. Mm -hmm. But this man was confined. You get it? Yeah. This man was confined. So what does he do? He mm -hmm. hide. Mm -hmm. And once he hide, that's why it brings, the way you're putting it, it brings a lot of issues in the family. Right. It, seems a, it, it seems to be a very, very bad thing. And the man is tainted. So many names. Yeah. I don't want maybe to mention them. It, yeah. it, it's probably even worse for a woman. And, and, and I'd want to ask this. Why mm. are we making it so favorable for the man and not for a woman? Because uh, at the end of the day, we are only human. And we'd equally say that there's, there, are women who would, uh, there, there are women who would have the interest of having more than one partner. So why is it then that it's, it's, it's painted so bad? when it's about a woman and not when it's about a man. And equally, when you're talking about the fact that, yes, okay, let's leave the ground open for the men, the aspect of care, because then uh, I, I would even know very well that uh, within the Islam setup or maybe in, in, in the Muslim culture, they'll tell you, yes, it's okay, proceed and get them, but only and only if you're able to care for them on equal measures. Mm -hmm. And a majority of men will tell you they're going into this, they're, they're not even stable enough mm -hmm. to take care of the very first wife mm -hmm. to a point where they would go and get a second and a third one and a fourth one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you see, when it comes to a woman, the way you're putting it, having uh, multiple partners, partners yeah. one set from our African culture, from wherever we come, from the creation, because mm -hmm. every time we talk about a human, there's also the onset of the mankind. Mm -hmm. There's also the where the human creation began. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about where the human creation began, is that when these two people came, there's a work for a male mm -hmm. and there's a duty for a male. You get me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we, when we get these two people, because you said it's a consent, yeah. you two people, we agree. Right. There are always responsibilities for the woman and there's always responsibilities for the man. Right. And you see, when we talk about instincts, I don't want to go deeper about instincts, but there are three. All human beings, the way God created, mm -hmm. they have three instincts. One is spiritual or religion. No matter, I don't want to talk about Islam as a religion. Mm. Even if I'm not a Muslim, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. If I'm not a Christian, I'm an atheist. You have to attest yourself to what you to believe in. You yeah. might be a soccer yeah. fan. You might True. be a, there's something that you attest because that's one of the instincts. Right. The other one is the procreation. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the other one is the ownership. Now let us take the procreation mm -hmm. for this because of the of the of the topic of today. Right. When you talk about procreation, we talk about we talk about a man and a woman coming together to sire or to get children. Right. You get me? Mm -hmm. And out of that we get a society. Mm. First and foremost we get a family. Out of that we get a family. Right. Out of that we get a society. Mm -hmm. And you attest to me the, with society their ethics and morals. Their ethics and morals. morals. Yeah. So even wherever we go from the culture, from the religion, there is nowhere we have a woman who was married, who had several men. Mm -hmm. But the way the system lies is that a man is the one to marry. You get me. But, but, but today we're going contrary to that. We've seen women who have more than one man. There's one story that was just there the other day. And, you know, sometimes they cite reasons that really uh, would be justifiable to proceed and do that. Like, for instance, the latest story that we had gone through, that was sometimes early mm -hmm. last year. There was uh, this uh, lady from uh, the, 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 the Machakos region or maybe this side of, of course, Ukambani, mm -hmm. sort of who had to get married to another partner. And mm. actually they're in agreement to that because the first hu the, the husband, you know, like the original husband is not in the best of shape uh, health-wise and something of the sort. Mm. But then again, because they ha they were in this union, mm. there's no way 
they can knock him out and mm. you know in consent they agreed it's okay let's get another man for you mm. and it's a setup that sort of seems to work very well mm. and equally there are others who would have you know yes the right husband but mm. equally they're putting up some 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 small boys somewhere mm. and to them they also consider them as their partners as their husbands you know reasons as to why drives one person to this mm. is the reason that we all of you are, we are running away from it yeah. because you see for this woman first and foremost why she had maybe to come to this i don't want to justify her act yeah. because of course we from the onset even you and i know that it cannot work yes. because of course a man was created with authority mm -hmm. and uh, in life or in nature you cannot have two centers of power right. it can never it can work, never work. Okay. either in political mm -hmm. either in marriage either in office right. either it cannot work mm -hmm. so if this man is to authority let me just take the case that you have mm -hmm. mentioned mm -hmm. and we have four authorities in the same place All which right. is going to work which is not going to work you see Linda these things that we are talking about here they're the things that are affecting even our children. Mm. They're the things that are affecting every corner of this world. Mm. Because we human beings, we are trying to run away from a certain setup. A system that can work for us mm. for a better. Mm. But when we start running, running away, we don't have an option for the replacement. You get me? Mm. So if I'm going to have these people, who shall be my authority? Whom will I, who, whom will I? Because of course, when you look at, at, at a woman's setup, right. there are a lot of things, because if you talk about submission, mm. Another quote for another day. Right. That brings a, uh, brings in a lot of a lot anarchy, of, yeah, yeah, a lot of issues. And the right. responsibilities that have been bestowed on women, uh, yeah. women, yeah. Yeah. So if I'm going to submit and I have four, four of them, who am I going to submit? submit. Whose authority will I follow? Okay. When I saw these children, their identity. How will I be leading? Because now this come from this clan, mm -hmm. this come from this clan, maybe this one from this tribe. I'll talk mm -hmm. about the cultures and the tribes. Now which one me as a woman? Today I'll be coming to you and your father, and now forever the culture. How am I going to handle that? I'm curious. I'm curious because yeah. the, the current woman or the modern woman is empowered. The modern woman is learned. The modern woman is up there. Sometimes they are having a better job than their husbands. So is this aspect of submission still in existence at all? Let me tell you, and that is where now you see all the problems. Talk from whichever level of a human being. Mm. Talk which, I'm talking about whichever level. I'm talking about from the, the, the lady you're talking about, mm -hmm. the modern woman, mm -hmm. from the topmost seat, even from the pres presidential level, a woman. Mm -hmm. Come to the common Wanjiko, the one there down, down, yes. down in, you know, those kind of local mm -hmm. places. Talk about them. We shall never be able to change the perspective or the reason why our creation was there. Okay. So the change of shift... That is what is bringing in a lot of... Mm -hmm. You see, every now we are having, we are crying of everything. Number one, divorces on the rise. Mm. Isn't it? Right, it is. Death. I think every time on the news, the first thing, somebody has been hacked, mm -hmm. somebody in a septic tank. Some, you know, so many problems. You know, the reason is because we are shifting. The woman who was created by God, the woman who was the, even in the culture, because, you know, sometimes when you talk... And see people tell you, no, this woman, even if there was no religion from mm -hmm. the time, mm -hmm. but there was that woman in the culture before even the religion mm -hmm. came to us. Mm -hmm.